हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस वन एन अदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट्स टॉपिक अगेन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द कार ट्रेवल्स अलॉन्ग द सर्कुलर कर्व हैविंग अ रेडियस ऑफ फोर राइट सो वी आर गिवन दैट द रेडियस इज इक्वल टू फोर फीट राइट द कार इज moving on this track and the track has a radius of 400 feet and it is said that at the instant shown its angular rate of rotation theta dot is we can say that theta dot is equal to 0.025 radian per second and it is said that which is decreasing at the rate of theta double dot right so we are given the angular acceleration as well so the angular acceleration is minus 0.008 radian per second square and further it is said that determine the radial and transverse components of car velocity and acceleration right at at this instant and sketch these components on the curve so now as we can see that the radius of the track is fixed right it is not changing the car is not moving along the Uh, radius right so if i draw the coordinate system let me define my coordinate system so here this will be our radial coordinates right we will measure the car location along the radius along this particular axis is right so we can say that this is the radius axis is and then the theta axis is will be perpendicular to this axis is right so this is our theta axis is right in cylindrical coordinates we have r theta and z coordinates right so the z coordinate is out of the screen right and the car is not moving in the z coordinate and the car is not moving in the uh, radial direction as well right so this means that if r is equal if r is fixed then we can say if i take the derivative of this then r dot will be equal to 0 and similarly we can say that r double dot is also equal to 0 right there is no velocity of the car in the radial direction so if there is no velocity then the radial acceleration will also be equal to zero so now since we are required to determine the radial and transverse components of car's velocity right so we are required to find vr and v theta right the radial component of the velocity so the radial component of the velocity is r dot right and r since r dot is zero so we can say that this is equal to zero right and v theta the transverse component of the velocity in cylindrical coordinates is equal to r theta dot and since r is 400 feet and theta dot is 0.025 right so if i multiply this so 400 multiply by 0.025 so this gives me 10 right so v theta is equal to 10 feet per second right so these are the two components of the velocity uh, if i represent this velocity as a vector right so then we can say that velocity vector will be equal to vr ur plus v theta u theta right so vr is 0 so we can say that this is 0 ur plus v theta is 10 so this is 10 u theta right this is the velocity vector right so this means that the velocity has only uh, v theta component right which is acting in the positive theta direction right that is 10 feet so now we can represent that right so this is the velocity v theta component which is acting in the positive u theta direction right now this is the acceleration equation right that i have copied from book right this is the acceleration equation right so this this component this is this is a r component and this is the a theta component right so now we can find the acceleration components right so a r component is equal to from here we can say that this is r double dot right this is r double dot minus r theta dot square right so r double dot r double dot is 0 minus r is 400 and theta dot is 0.025 square 
So, this is 400 into 0 0.025 square and this gives me 0.25 right. So, and this is minus. So, this is minus 0 0.25 radian per second square and this is a r right and similarly we can find a theta. So, a theta is from here we can say that this is r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot right. So, again r is 400 and theta double dot is minus 0 0.008 and since r dot is 0, so this whole term will become 0 right. So, we are left with this. So, this is 400 400 into 0 0.008. So, this gives me minus 3.2 right. So, this is plus into minus. So, this is minus 3.2 radian per second square right. And if we if we want to write the acceleration vector. So, the acceleration vector will be equal to a r u r plus a theta u theta. And similarly, a r is minus 0.25 u r and a theta is minus 3.2 u theta. So, now the acceleration has two components and one of its component is u r which is acting in the negative r direction right. So, one of the component is acting in this direction. This is a r and then there is one another component a theta which is also acting in the negative theta direction. So, this is positive theta. So, then this is the negative theta direction like this. This is a theta right and the resultant of both of these that a vector will be acting in this direction like this somewhere here like this. This is that acceleration vector. So, this is the solution of this uh, simple problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem. Now, this is one another problem very similar to that previous problem right and again uh, we are given that car which travels along the radius uh, circular curve of radius 400. So, again we can say that the radius is 400 feet and again we can say that uh, r dot will be equal to 0 and r double dot will be equal to 0 and further it is said that if if it is moving with a constant speed of 30 feet per second right. So, we are given that the velocity magnitude is 30 feet per second right. So, from this we can say that the velocity is equal to we can say that this is v r u r plus v theta u theta and we are given the velocity magnitude right. So, now from this we can say that the velocity magnitude will be equal to if we use the Pythagoras theorem. So, then this will be equal to the velocity magnitude and the velocity magnitude is given as 30 right. So, in this equation if I put velocity equals to 30. So, this is v r square plus v theta square and this will be equal to if I remove this square root then this will be square. So, then we can say that this is 30 square right and as we know that v r is equal to r dot and v theta is equal to r theta dot right. So, since r dot is 0 right from here. So, this means that v r is equal to 0 and then from this equation we are only left with v theta and v theta we can write that v theta is r theta dot whole square and this is equal to 30 square and if I take square root on both sides. So, we will be left with this r theta dot is equal to 30. So, we can find theta dot right. So, theta dot is equal to 30 divided by r and r is 400 right. So, in the problem we are required to determine the angular rate of rotation of the radial line and the magnitude of the car's acceleration right. So, 
we will know this theta dot right. So, theta dot is this is 30 divided by 400. So, this is 0 0.075 we can say that theta dot is 0 0.075 radian per second and now once we know theta dot right. So, if I take double derivative of theta dot then this means that theta double dot is equal to 0 right. So, now we have determined this theta dot now in the problem statement it said that and the magnitude of the car acceleration. So, we have to find the car acceleration magnitude right. We know that this is the acceleration uh, vector right. So, this is the a r component and this is the a theta component right. So, if I find a r then a r is equal to r double dot this is a r and this is a theta. So, r double dot is 0. So, we can write 0 minus r is 400 and theta dot square right. So, theta dot is 0 0.075 square. So, if, if we calculate this, so this is uh, 400 into 0 0.075 square and this is 2.25. So, a r is 2.25 feet per second square. Similarly, we can find a theta right. So, a theta is from here this is a theta. So, this is r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot. So, since theta double dot is 0. So, this term will become 0. So, we will be left with 2 and r dot is 0 as well right. So, this whole a theta becomes 0 right. So, we can say that a theta is equal to 0 feet per second square. And since we are required to find the magnitude of the car's acceleration, so the magnitude of the car acceleration will be equal to if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, then it will be equal to a r square plus a theta square using the Pythagoras theorem. So, since a theta is 0, so we will be only left with a r right. So, this will be a r and then square this will cancel out. So, we will be only left with a r magnitude. So, this means that a magnitude acceleration magnitude is equal to a r magnitude which is 2.25 feet per second square. In this equation you people can see that we have this third component that is along the z axis is right. And so, since the car is not moving in the z axis is the z axis is out from the screen right. So, it is not moving in the z axis. So, this means that z is equal to 0 and z dot is equal to 0 and then z double dot is equal to 0 right. So, since this this term is equal to 0. So, we only left with a r and a theta components right. So, this is the solution of these two problems. I hope you people would have understood the solution of this problem. Kindly like my videos if they help in your learning and do subscribe my channel for such more problems.